1968 Triumph 1300 in blue. Lovely little car, this one. Body wise, we're going to start off the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior, and then we're going to fire it into life. Got the bonnet itself all nice and straight. There's a few little bits of sort of spider webbing under the paint, but sort of adds to the character of this one. I wouldn't do it about it, that's for sure. But apart from that, nice and straight across the bonnet, no dings or dents. But you can see those marks there, a little bit of, little bit of cracking underneath the, uh, the top coat there. All nice and straight across the scuttle. Down the left hand side wing top, we've got a few little touchings around the front there. Chrome works nice and shiny all the way across, nice and presentable. The headlights are all good, grills all intact as well. Coming around onto the right hand side, not too bad around the headlight on the right hand side. There's a few little marks in the paint, a little bit of patina, a few little touch-ins here and there as well. A little bit of off-shade there towards the back of the wing with some rust blebs to start to come through. Nice and tidy on the, uh, the hubcaps and the painted steels. No heavy corrosion around the arches. Nice and tidy across the driver's door, loving straight up the driver's side. With a few little touch-ins here and there, sill sections, an odd little mark in the paint. A little bit of bubbling on the bottom of the right-hand side rear door, and a little bit of surface starting towards the back of the sill, but looks like surface. Nice and straight across the rest of the doors, all of and tidy. One or two little stone chips here and there, no heavy corrosion at all. Like I say, a few little touch-ins where it's been touched in over the years. A little bit of bubbling on the roof, and I've just noticed two little dents towards the back of the roof. The roof's always been painted, well, the whole thing's been painted at some point. A little bit of dust in the paint on the roof there. Around the rear arches, all nice and tidy, lovely and straight around the rear arches. Again, another little bit of a colour discrepancy towards the back bumper there where it's been touched in. I did take this down the road the other day. It drives really nice, nice and smooth. Nice and tight down the body lines, a little bit of a dent there again. Back bumper's all okay. A little bit of putting to the chrome work, but all nice and tidy apart from that across the back bumper. Up onto the boot lid itself, nice and straight and flat on the paint side of things on the boot lid. No corrosion around the rear window. Nice and level there. As you come down the left hand side again, nice and straight down the left hand side. No corrosion around the fuel filler cap. Rear arch is good. Again, a little bit of a touching behind the back bumper, a little bit of a bubbling starting on the rear of the uh, left-hand side rear arch, but apart from that, all okay. Nice and presentable down the left-hand side, across the doors, chrome works all okay. Doors are loving straight down the left-hand side. No heavy corrosion anywhere there, roof's all okay as well. Nice and tidy onto the front wing, but again, a bit of a touch in here. Arch itself's all nice and straight. A few little bits, a little bit of bubbling on the bottom of the door there, on the passenger front. Interior wise, driver's door card, bit of a creaky door, but all nice and tidy on the door card, no complaints there. A little bit of wet the wards the back of the handle, the seat itself is lovely and soft as well, it's not going to rip when you sit on it. Lovely and tidy across the driver's seat there, nice dark blue floor mats are in great condition, steering wheel's lovely and the dashboard's nice and tidy all the way across. With no cracks or cracks the dials or spins the top of the dash top. Headlining is unmarked all the way through, lovely and tidy on the headlining. Right hand side rear door again, lovely and tidy. It's got blue seat belts as well, which are lovely. Door card itself is lovely. I'm loving the window windings have fold back in like that. All the way around, really cool. Lovely and tidy across the rear seats again, nice and soft as well. You're not gonna no rips or tears or splits to the seats there on the vinyl. Lovely dark blue carpet set with the matching seat belts. All nice and presentable in the boot with some spare parts and some oil there. Left hand side door card again, same condition, no rips, no tears, and no complaints on that bench seat from the left to the right hand side there. Lovely and soft. Again, headlining all unmarked. Back to the seats nice and tidy. Carpet sets lovely. Door card's all good. Gorgeous carpet set, looks to be new that with the black uh, stitched in piping. Lovely and tidy across the seats, really good colours with the navy blue. Loving these blue seat belts, are really cool. Lovely and tidy across the dashboard and the seats from the left hand side, no rips, no tears in there at all. Into the engine base, it's the 1300cc on the manual gearbox. This one, engine's all nice and tidy, all nice and presentable in there. James is going to fire it at the knife, it's going to be cold start. It's as simple as that. A little bit of choke, the way she goes. Go around the carburetor side. That is cold start up there, so the choke's on. And there you have it, charming little Triumph 
1300 in blue lovely engine on that one gorgeous interior as well really really usable uh, pretty little thing that 